to get out of here together. Great! This is like a dream. Am I dreaming, Mike? Ah, stop talking all the nonsense! I need to concentrate if we want to get home in one piece. Mike, how brave you are. Please, don't bother him. Hey, since we finally managed to get out, can you tell me what you wanted to tell me before? Uh, well, I need to concentrate, Liz. Now's not a good time. Isn't this a good time for a hug? Ooh, or for a kiss? But what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this man is stopping right now, and y'all can walk home! I, I, I prefer to walk, Mike. No, wait a minute, Liz. Maybe you're just understanding things the way that they're not. I, look out for that tree, we'll hit it! <laughs> You guys okay? Uh, mm, it seems so. Well, we really have to walk. going on? What? No! This is impossible! They have managed to, 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 to deactivate the security system! Well... At least the rest of the chubby kids are, are still under control in, in the in the extraction room. Huh? Uh, uh, well, the, 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 the door to the extraction room has opened. It must have occurred when the security system was deactivated. Oh. Well, maybe I should pay this place a visit and close that door before the room gets distempered and my chubby kid pantry is spoiled. about tough times in the past. Kids at school were mean about my weight. None of them were still breathing. And my dad, who was my main family, was guilty for my fatness because he had the secret recipe to make 
poison ice cream too. And he was too, he was too carefree with me. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Did, did he move me from that convent because of that recipe? <laughs> it's sad because he never really loved me. As a parent, he, he seemed more interested in being famous and rich. And my mom, the only one who actually cared about me, was a crazy nun who treated me like a girl. Is she still alive? Hmm? Did, did she kill my dad for revenge? And if my real dad wasn't Joseph, was he that evil lord named Baphomet? Whatever I try to do, I can't undo the mistakes of the past. My feels meaningless, my revenge, and my dreams. Like ice cream on a summer night, are melting away. We both know quite well, worldly matters are handled with care. With care. But... But shall we embark, we embark Brother Nazareth, Nazareth, and take on the dare? Sister, it's been a while since our talk began. Can't say your real name. You still hidden in the shape of a magical cup. What's your suggestion? What's your plan? The human creature you brought to life inside Sister Madeline is showing true repentance. Don't you think he deserves one more chance? I can't do anything. That intellectual animal has made too many mistakes. From the moment he was born, he had a special fate. I protected him from her mother with my rules. But she confused Nazrael with Baphomet. Can she be more fooled? Let life itself be their teacher. See you soon, my dear sister. I can hug you again. I am very sorry for everything that happened. Please forgive me. I love you. You are my mother? Yes, it's me. Finally, I recognize you as my son. A grown man. I hope we get to know each other in the afterlife. You have also gained a lot of weight. Is that possible? My goodness. Ah, Chloe, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> It has been quite the adventure. I'll tell you everything when we get home. 